More noisemakers. Can always use more noisemakers. Cookie face? Oh, how about how about skyhook to face? Come on, come on. Come on. You're not locked. Don't leave me out here with my heart in my hand. Uh, yep. <laughs> You're gonna go nappy naps now. All right. Peeping cloak mod. Removes Eve cost for invisibility while standing still. Oh hey, get out of jail free card. In its entirety. Hey, that'll work out. Shit! Why didn't I open this door the first time around, man? I just had to be cheap. I just had to be cheap. <laughs> I never thought anyone would be able to bring all these degenerate splice heads into line. I gotta hand it to Atlas. After Ryan locked us up in this pit, I thought that was it. Just a long, final dive into the abyss. But he's given us hope. Or what passes for it down in Rapture. When a person's got nothing, hope's about the kindest thing you can give her. Or the cruelest. Yeah, where I go, I don't need no hope. So I could just, like... What the hell did it... Oh, wait, well, I guess... It didn't matter if I didn't make any sounds anyway. I'm stomping my, clicking my heels like a madman, sprinting all over the place. All right, old man winter mods, where are you? I spent five lock picks. Be damned if I don't, if I don't cash in. He's just sitting there. He is just sitting there. Service Bay. Hey, Teddy Bear Backpack. No I could be down for that. Teddy Bear Backpack in style. Alright, come on. Where's the thing? No. It's not down here. Crap, man. Wait, where is it? Was there a safe down here? We're gonna go sidetracking for a little bit. I really want my old man winner. Actually, if it's not down here, I'm just gonna go ahead and get on with it. Probably never gonna use it anyway. Not like a little exploration, yo. And these assholes are still in here. I gotta get my act together. Can I knock them out from here? Nope. Yeah, those old numbers sure got some high notes. But but I got I got something new. Well, they all get replaced down here too. Oh man! I don't think this is worth it. Fuck it, it's not worth it. I don't care. I'm out of here. You, honey, Fuck it. You should be ashamed. Together, it's gonna run. Press the button. The you all stuck down here. Ah, get out of jail free card. Yeah. Hold to pick up. Why do I have to hold to pick it up? The hell. Okay, so we need to go to. That's Su Chong's place. What's odd? Oh wait, here, here's one. Right where you are. Winter, cause enemies to forget the player once they thaw out. Oh, that's kind of useless. Gosh, there's an awful lot of competition. Oh, pretty. <laughs> Boy, a girl can dream, can't she? 
Not bad. Well, this isn't cheap at all. I ain't through with you yet. Uh oh. Oh, I wonder. If well, enough of that. I got work to do. That makes two of us. Get over here. 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 We have no lunch for days. Actually, I could just sprint everywhere, and if someone sees me, I can go invisible. The Silver Finn Restaurant. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's do it. Go ahead and fix this bad boy up. Insert CO2 scrubber. Now we won't immediately die of CO2 poisoning the moment we turn the thing on. Okay. What else do we do? Uh. I guess we'll go upstairs. Up. Oh, ah, is this where I open the second safe? Yes, yes, it is. Adds an area effect to the projectile that can freeze multiple enemies. Oh, hey. I'll take it. I shall take it. Alright, can I... Can I do the thing now? Giant balloons, ridiculous, ridiculous. Camera's still there. Okay, other side. Well, not the perfect phosphor frequency, but it'll do. Alright, are we good to turn this bad boy on? I need to cool the transformer at the top of the device or the whole thing will overheat. Okay. Can do that. <sighs> okay, that should stop it from overheating. There, everything's fixed. We're ready. Let's fire it up and see. To Colombia! Never thought I'd come back to Colombia, let alone to that exact moment. Ooh, what's that exact moment? Booker. Look. We're on the First Lady. It can't be this easy. The First Lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system just like all the buildings in the city. I read all about it in the Columbian Scientific. The particle seated at the top of the structure. Must be up that lift. Perfect. Seems like a lot of technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen, and it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. Danger! Risk or of uh, risk of death or serious injury by order of the Columbia Science Authority. Huh? No kidding. They needed the the Science Authority to. If we take the active <laughs> particle, then the First Lady is just a forty-ton paperweight. Best to take the spare. Take the spare quantum particle. All right. Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. You honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal? No, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah, I've got plenty, plenty of ammunition for days. This is as long as How it doesn't take six. How do you plan on handling Atlas? He ain't just some spliced-up maniac. He'll make a mistake. I just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens. Oh, the ace girl, in the hole. Barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? Is it really gonna be that easy? No, I wanna go through the door. 
Nothing but trouble that way. Best to head straight back to Rapture. Oh, hey, is this the one where I smacked Booker upside the head with the wrench? The original Bioshock wrench? Is this that exact moment? Damn it, I want to go. I want to see! Darn it. Pretty lady not finished yet. What? Open the tear. Power for devices. Very expensive. Need for that? Just tell me what you want. So John wanted something as simple. Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not your hair, stupid. Think Hodge's secret lab. Mothballed, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra. Then, everybody friends. Where's his lab? Closed off past Fink's quarters. Um, you smart lady, you find it. Should have seen that one coming. Wait, wait, looks like we're going through the door anyway. Yes, I get to see what I want. Iron sides. And back to the shitty old Columbia advertisement. We must have arrived right in the middle of the siege. That means the other you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we didn't. Yeah, it's not in the constants and the variables there, bro. <laughs> uh, I, oh, I don't want to come back here. I hate Columbia. Whee! Wait, wait. All right, let's switch back to our wall hack. Oh wait, that's not it. Iron signs and possession. Yeah. All right, we're good. What the hell? Oh. When the way in front of you is locked, just look to your side. Maybe there'll be a vent. Batman style. I'm your counsel. And you done me good service, but I will not hurt the boy. I will see Fink and Comstock burn, but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said. And a famous man shall say. I may reach the mountaintop. But I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But you mean I won't live to see the... No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one. Played like a fiddle. Stabby, stabby with scissors. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember this. I remember this. How does something like that just not drive a person crazy? Absolutely fucking crazy. Yeah, that's Fink, and that's the little boy we didn't kill. Or she didn't get to kill. Well, she threatened to kill, but she didn't because she was taking her part in the play. Oh, oh shit. Alright, where do we go from here? Hey, this is that battle part. I remember, the boss fight with like the handyman and stuff. Oh, they've even taken to the spinny thing here, too. Surprise, bitch! You can't hide forever, Actually, I'm pretty sure I can. Uh-oh. Let's get out of here. Uh, I will 
will do my hey dollar bill store. Anything useful here? File of salts. Nope, not really. Damn it. What's going on? All right, they're all back there. Let's. A feared, a feared, huh? That's an interesting. Oh on? shit! Why did those doors open? Must be space magic. Don't think you can hide from me. Chasing my own shit. Oh, that is surprisingly cheap. Hey, maybe I can get undertow. My living quarters got reassigned, all right. I'm sleeping in Ooh. No, you're sleeping in the bed that I make for you. Take a nap. You've been a bad boy today, and you're grumpy. Someone's back. Oh, hey, it's oh, I can't ha I can't open the safe. Damn it. Box of my phone. Yeah, there's a war coming. You can smell it in the air. Fear, hatred, people dying every day. But how many more will suffer if we rise up? Violence begets violence. I know this. I've seen this. The rational mind argues for a peaceful solution to find a common ground, but. What common ground is there to find for a father who watches his child bleed out in the street? How do you deny him his vengeance? I know that fire that burns deep inside. I know it all too well. And when the time comes, will I be able to stay to hand? Looks like there is only one way to go here. Unfortunately, no goodies hidden behind the vendors, like I had hoped. Wait, wait. Right, private quarters. I don't think we went in here, did we? In the main game, I don't think we did. Up. Huh. Is that the elevator? Who's coming on down? Damn it, I thought I heard the elevator. I was hoping I could run into myself. Cause a time paradox. Get a game over. Get the colonel to yell at me. Guess it's not to be. Leisure. Prayer. What are all these doors closed? Think. Sleep. Okay. It's weird. Why this door? Ooh, what is this? Pick up clock key. What's that thing you just picked up? My guess is that it has something to do with that giant clock out there. And that clock has something to do with opening the door to Fink's lab. Aw, someone salty about them, Lutesses. Wait, wait. A current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong. And it is not an impossibility. We could instantiate ourselves back in Columbia. Return to an old life for the possibility of creating new. But we died. A giant clock. Sort of. Looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives us blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No. We've already found the clock key. We can manually wind it. Open whatever door we please. Wow, way to interrupt my story like time. A lot of work to lock down a few doors. You know, if there's one thing Fink loves, it's a lot of work. Uh, let's go all the way around. Let's go with prayer, leisure, and then finally work. That's what I'm feeling. A current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong. And it is not an impossibility. We could instantiate ourselves back in Columbia. Return to an old life for the possibility of creating new. But we died in that world. Returning would mean giving up part of us. 
ourselves. We'd become flesh and all that it is heir to. The mysteries of the universe would become once again mysteries. I can't even read that. I can't read cursive anymore, you old shyster. Sure to impress the rubes. I don't know what that name is. What the hell, is there nothing in here? Untold rewards await the faithful in eternity. I guess there is nothing in here. Nothing but more riddles and shit. I'm tired of these damn riddles. Alright, let's go see what's in leisure. Cost evaluation. Why injectables? Drinkable plasmids require ten times the atom that injectables do. Injectables are the clear economic choice. Repackaging will result in significant atom usage savings. Ten times atom requirement? No! Less atom cost? No. Mm -hmm. Right. Sea slugs. God damn sea slugs. Could that Oriental have come up with a more inconvenient fuel for his plasmids? If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins. 